If you're not happy single, you won't be happy in a relationship. Happiness isn't found in relationships. It's found by gatekeeping weirdly specific bands and artists online and gaining a sense of superiority by your music taste. Wow, that's so good and I was not expecting that. Yeah, that's right. Why do people do that? <laughs> Bro, you're not allowed to listen to this band. This one's way better. Only idiots listen to that band. <laughs> yes, that is definitely how happiness is achieved. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you for tuning back in. And welcome once again to some more gatekeeping. The subreddit where people tell us what we can and can't do, what we should and shouldn't like. You know, just general annoying stuff. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Oh yeah, before we start today's video, guys, I got like a recap from YouTube for the year. And this year alone, you guys have watched 160 million minutes of my YouTube videos. How un unbelievable is that? That's like 300 years. So yeah, holy hell, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching. That just completely blew me away and I knew I had to share it with you guys. So yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, I hope you enjoy. Blind woman told to get off of a bus because guide dogs can't be black. Bruh, imagine being blind and the bus driver is like, you can't come on, guide dogs aren't black. And you're just there like, what the hell is black? Yeah, what? Surely that's not real. Also, I love how I say that in every single video. But yeah, honestly, like that has to be a joke, right? Is it like the onion or something? I'm not even going to consider that that's real. I bet nobody under 40 knows what this is. A bread tie. Yeah, right. Because all bread is digital now. I read this one a long time and surely it's a joke. Like, bro, there's like 40 of them laying around my house. It's not like they don't exist anymore. Why white people can't have curly hair? Oh god, here we go. Dear white people, no, your hair is not curly. Those are not your natural features. You appropriated curly hair. I don't care if you moan and claim it's a natural trait. I call BS. No white person is born with textured hair. No, it's a scientific fact that your people naturally have straight hair. So shove it up your ass. What? My hair's so curly when it's long. Did they mean something else or is that actually what they meant? Not everyone will get this and it's literally pie written on a pie. Ah, uh, we all get it. Yeah, it's really not that complicated. Bro, oh, unless you have a PhD and you're an absolute genius with a high IQ of 2 million, you'll never understand this. I understand it because I am very smart. Yo, what kind of music do you like? It drops a few bands and artists. Only Taylor Swift. Yo, I jam to T-Swift. She's the best. What's your favorite album? Bro, what the hell? Only girls like Taylor Swift. And of course, it's Fearless. This one is pretty mild, but I'll listen to whatever music I like. Thank you very much. If I want to rock a little Taylor Swift, I will. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. I hate when a 22-year-old speaks to me like we're on the same level. Yeah. Yeah, we're both technically adults, but you need half a dozen real adult heartbreaks, some dark bouts with alcoholism, about a decade of depression, and a rock bottom before you approach me as an equal. Oh god, that was sad. What? The top comment says, plot twist, this person is 23. Wow, that would be hilarious. <laughs> Thank god for the comments on Reddit, they're always so funny. I ate 12 eggs for breakfast, you ate 2 donuts and washed it down with a 400 calorie coffee. You took the elevator up two flights of stairs. I deadlifted until I nearly passed out. Work on you. Don't lecture me about health. We're not even in the same league. Wait a second. Is this like directed at one person? Because I'm not lecturing you about health, buddy. Maybe they were text messaging somebody <laughs> and they accidentally tweeted it while they were being lectured about health. Okay, this next 
one is about Harry Potter. People who read the books, people who read the books and watch the movies, people who just watch the movies. Oh, yeah, you can't just let people enjoy stuff, can ya? I swear that's exactly what these people think. How can I find a way to make myself feel better while simultaneously making other people feel worse? If you don't know what this is, you're not allowed to complain about Netflix loading for three seconds and it's like dial up internet. Yeah, it's actually so crazy how much you adapt to like how fast everything is. It's just interesting because like whenever my internet gets bad, I like completely freak out because I'm like, this is not as fast as it normally is. But yeah, I guess we're not allowed to complain about Netflix being slow. Okay, buddy, who are they? And then they send a smiley face. Oh God, imagine using text emotes in 2021. <laughs> what? Why is that something that anybody even cares about? Like the fact that somebody even has an opinion on that is crazy. Bro, I don't give a damn what sort of emotes you use. Wow, that's actually interesting. Bro, imagine using text emotes in 2021. <laughs> I'm superior because I use like what, emojis? And also it's on Reddit, so they'd be like, oh, you're not allowed to use emojis here. Bro, miss me with that. There's a name for people without beards. Women. And because it's like a really crappy site that they put the design on. The model doesn't have a beard. The type of people that think you're a woman for not having a beard are like the most insecure types of people of all time. That's just so silly. And I'm sure they know that too. Surely. If your boyfriend can't curl 50s, you're still single to me. <laughs> well, like, yeah, they're joking but still. If your boyfriend isn't as strong as me, you don't have a boyfriend. Well, yeah, dude. And what about people who say the same thing about heavier dumbbells? Are you not a man anymore? Dudes without a beard should be released with the women and children in a hostage situation. <laughs> oh, that's just so dumb. Like, what? And somebody tweeted that and they were proud of that. That makes me sad. You don't get to complain about life until you move out of your parents' house. Nah, you definitely do. I can feel the wholesome memes. They're just around the corner. City boys be like, come over for a bonfire. Country boys be like, that's cute. Well, okay. <laughs> Country boys and we have bigger fires. Okay, like I know what they mean, but I don't think anybody is calling the top one a bonfire, are they? Isn't a bonfire like huge by definition? Sorry, I'm not an expert on fires like these country boys. Civilians talk about about being tired, but ain't never been through this night. I don't want to hear anybody say that they're tired if they don't understand this picture. Oh god, whatever. <laughs> oh, you're more tired than me. I don't care. <laughs> and I'm gonna read some wholesome memes. What gives people feelings of power? Money, status, no, 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 perfectly landing an inside joke. Oh my god, the only jokes I have with people are inside jokes. Me and my friend will hang out with some else and they're like what the hell are you talking about so many inside jokes and so many simpsons references it's basically like a different language me aha i've got it the name of the song that's been stuck in my head that i spent a long time looking for oh yeah i still have songs that i can't think of the name of it's so bloody annoying but it feels so good when you actually figure it out sometimes i have the most fun when we do nothing but we do it together kitty oh that's beautiful Beautiful. Yeah, you don't have to be doing too much to have fun. And when you're in good company, it doesn't even matter. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, and let me know what you thought down below. Gatekeeping is such a good subreddit. I love making videos on this one. It's just the right amount of annoying. Like, some of our videos are a little bit too frustrating, like choosing beggars and nice guys. Like, they can be a little bit intense. But this one is just the perfect amount of annoying. Okay, today's comment of the day goes to We are the I am. The singularity will be achieved when a nice girl and a nice guy have a baby. Oh, hail. Yeah, oh my god, can you imagine? The day a nice guy meets a nice girl and they actually have a conversation, the universe will probably implode on itself. Okay, guys, thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. Have a beautiful rest of your day and I'll I'll see you next time.